and tell us what you're doubling and what you get and so on. So I'm going to have 16. Okay, to get? Get 8. Yep. Double 3, get 6. Okay. And then, and then 8 times 6 is 40. You could, but I want you to double on half to the solution. Okay. And then I'm going to six. Well, you haven't finished. You're having eight. Four. Thank you. And then I'm going to double to six, which is 12. Good. Keep going. And I'm going to have four into two, and I'm going to double 12, 24. Mm hmm. Very good. That's the doubling and halving strategy. You don't have to do it all the way. Zach knew right away. 8 times 6 is 48. If you know your basic facts, you don't have to do that much work. 16 times 3, some of you can just see that and know what the answer is. Some of you have to do mom and pop. Some of you need to do partial products. Some of you need to do the box method. It doesn't matter how you do it. We have 3 times 10 and 6 because that's what they're made of. What's 3 times 10, Zach? 3 times 10? Mm -hmm. 30. 3 times 6? And then what do we do with the box method? We add them together to get 48. So it doesn't matter how you do it. We just need to be able to do it. Let's try another one down here. Let's see. How about 5 times 18? Who can double and half us all the way to the solution for this one? Tell us which one you're doubling and half and what you get and keep on going. E? Well, tell us what you're doubling and having and what you're getting. Okay. All right. Are you sure? No. no. Why not? Because the 9 is odd. So you don't want to half the 9 because that's just going to make your life more difficult, right? But 10 times 9 equals what? 90. 90. So that's a simple one to do. But you did the first step right. And on that one, that's all the further you're going to go. Oh, Zach just volunteered for another one. Go ahead, Zach. 16 times 4. 50. Thank you. Follow along, folks. 16 times 50. Okay, I'm going to um, have 16. To get? To get 8. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to double 50 into 100. Yep. What are you doing with the 200? You're kind of I'm going to, double 200 to get. Okay. Then what? Double 400 into 800. And then that yep. So I guess technically you'd only have to do the last one. Good. Did he have to go that far? No. no. And most of you wouldn't either. But if you get confused, if you're lost, if you're struggling, it's a great way. Double and half. Don't forget this strategy. Let's try one mom and pop, and then I'll let you get going here. 357 times 89. Mom and pop method. Standard multiplication algorithm. I don't know why I put two multiplication symbols. Guess I want to make sure that you're doing it. Can you slide over just a little bit? There you go. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Moose, where should we start with this one? Close, 9 times 7. Always start with the bottom numbers, folks. What's 9 times 7, Moose? 16. Moose. Anyone, help them out. What's 9 times 7? 16. Yes. 
Yep. Good. Three goes below. What do we do with our six moose? Oh, we don't care. We carry water in a bucket. What's our word? We've been working on it all year. Regroup it above the tens. Some of you are still not regrouping, and some of you are still not circling. Circle it so you know it's a regrouped number. Some of your regrouped numbers look just like the same size as your other ones, and then you get messed up. Then what? Uh, Sam. Pardon me? No. Next step. Aubrey. Nine times five, because we just did the nine times seven. Nine times five, Aubrey, is? Forty-five. Plus six, and cross it off, is what? Fifty-one. I'm not sure I'm asking. You tell 51. me. Fifty-one. One goes below. Where do we put her five? What happens to it? Regroup. Regroup it above. The? Three. the? It's not always going to be a three. It's always going to be the hundreds place. Yep. Then what? What's the next step, Hallie? Nine times three is? Twenty-seven. Plus five whole more ones? Thirty-two. I don't know. Thirty-two. Okay. And there's nothing to regroup it over, so we just plant her down there. Now we're done at the ones. What do we have to put down there then? Zero. Zero. Placeholder. Anything going to go below that? No. Nothing? No, nope, we won't because we only have two digits. Eight times seven, everybody? 56. That didn't sound like everybody. Regroup and circle. 8 times 5. Everybody? 40. Plus 5. 45. 5 goes below. Regroup our 4. 8 times 3. Plus 4 is? 28. 28. What do we do with these when we've got all this stuff, Cole? Add them up. Find the sum. What do we get? Add that up for us and let us know what our solution is. What's our product? What is our product? Down in front. 6,063. Is he right? Uh, no. Let's I check. Got, no. I got 31,000. Let's check. 3 plus 0. Three, three, 6 plus 1. Seven. 5 plus 2. Seven. 8 plus 3. 11, 11. Regroup 11. and 3. You might have organized incorrectly down there. Five. You wrote for which one? No, one plus six. One plus six is five. Oh. I wrote a five instead of a six. Oh, oh, I got you. So, so you did the multiplying wrong. Yeah. Gotcha. Did you reverse the numbers? Yeah. Regroup the wrong one. No. Okay. Just All right. Thanks. All you can do is try. We'll get better at it.